In E. coli, the trip operon consists of the structural genes trip E, D, C, B, and A, the gene products of which are enzymes that convert the chemical chorismate to the amino acid tryptophan. When tryptophan levels are high enough, the cell uses two different mechanisms, negative regulation and attenuation, to shut down the expression of these structural genes. The operon has a repressor called the APO repressor, encoded by the TRIP-R gene. If the cell has excess tryptophan, tryptophan binds to the APO repressor to form an activated complex called the HOLO repressor. In a classic example of negative regulation, the HOLO repressor now binds to the TRIP operator and turns off the expression of the structural genes by blocking RNA polymerase. However, even under conditions of high tryptophan, occasionally RNA polymerase will be able to access the operon and begin to transcribe the coding regions. As a second means of regulating the TRIP operon, E. coli uses a mechanism called transcriptional attenuation. Attenuation occurs at a region of the operon called the leader that lies between the operator and the first structural gene, TRIP E. The leader contains a number of important regions, including four regions that can form base pairs with each other in different combinations. Regions 2 and 3 can pair to form a structure called the anti-attenuator stem loop. Alternatively, regions 1 and 2 can pair and 3 and 4 can pair. When 3 and 4 pair, the structure formed is called the attenuator stem loop, and it is this structure that triggers transcription termination. When 3 and 4 pair, RNA polymerase pauses. A newly transcribed RNA region called the attenuator remains paired with its complementary DNA in the transcription bubble. However, the attenuator is rich in the base uracil, which means that the paired RNA and DNA are attached by relatively few hydrogen bonds. The attenuator easily separates from the DNA and RNA polymerase falls off before reading TRIP E or the other structural genes. Another important segment in the leader is a coding region for a leader peptide. The coding region is very small and ends with a stop codon between regions 1 and 2. In the middle of the coding region are two adjacent codons that specify tryptophan. If the cell has plenty of tryptophan, it will also have plenty of tRNAs charged with tryptophan to translate the tryptophan codons. A closer look at transcription of the leader shows why a high level of tryptophan in the cell results in attenuation. Shortly after RNA polymerase begins transcription, a ribosome begins translation. With plenty of tryptophan in the cell, the ribosome doesn't pause until it reaches the stop codon. Stalled at this position, the ribosome covers regions 1 and 2. Thus, regions 3 and 4 are free to pair. Under conditions of high tryptophan, attenuation occurs. In contrast, under conditions of low tryptophan, the ribosome stalls at the tryptophan codons. Stalled at this position, region 2 is free to pair with region 3. Because regions 3 and 4 do not pair, RNA polymerase does not pause at the attenuator. RNA polymerase continues to transcribe the operon. A new ribosome begins translation of the structural genes.